Hi everyone, this is Terry. We're continuing our lessons on the luminaire and today we're going to continue in embroidery. I mentioned the memory pocket in a previous video and I want to share more information about the memory pocket in embroidery and how it functions. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go over and we'll just select a design and I'll choose any design and I'll choose set and I'll save it to memory. And I'll go ahead and just save it on my machine. And then I'll also go in to memory and save it to a USB stick that I have attached to my machine. Now you don't see that it's in memory, but don't worry. We're deleting this. When we delete it, it is just deleting it from the screen. It's not removing it from our machine at all. Let's go look at the memory pocket. You now see that I have this design here, and this design is a design that I just saved. You'll see that it has a PHX ending. This is a proprietary format for the Luminaire. It can be read by PE Design Software if you import it. And then you'll notice there are a couple that are PHC. These are actually designs that came from a USB stick that I have in my machine. What I want to do is I want to remove these two designs right here. And actually I'll remove all of them except the one we just saved. To do so, what I'm going to do is go down to this icon down here on the lower row and I'm going to choose to select the ones that I want to select. So if I only wanted these two, I could select them or I can choose select all and when I choose select all, I can deselect the one that I don't want. If I choose select none, it will deselect everything. We'll select all, deselect the design I want to choose, and we'll choose delete. Now these three files are, are actually gone from my machine. I no longer have them. Let's go out and let's look at the USB stick. On the USB stick, you'll have a B pocket. And you'll see I have the same designs on my USB stick. So I didn't really have too many worries about whether I was deleting something that I wanted to keep. I can go in and if I wanted to, to delete a particular design on my USB stick, I can select it and delete it. It has now removed that design from my USB stick. Now, what if I want to take these designs like this design, this design, and this design, and I want it on my machine. Go to memory, and you didn't see anything happen, but what we're going to do is select the machine, and now they're there. That's the way you can transfer designs from a USB stick to your Luminaire and store it in the machine memory. I don't know about you, but I misplace USB sticks all the time. You'll see also that you have a, a, a storage capacity of nine megabytes here. You can make this larger if you want or make it smaller so you can see the designs. You can store on either one of the USB stick drives that you have inserted, whether you have it in the upper slot or the lower slot where I actually have my mouse. Now, obviously I can't save to my mouse right now you can use a, a U, uh, um, excuse me, an SD card, or you can also use Wi-Fi. When you use Wi-Fi, it means that you're going to be connected to your PE Design 11 software, and you've had it set up for Wi-Fi in order to transfer those files. Then we'll go ahead and choose Return, and now you understand the memory pocket. Let's just talk about a couple of other things. We're going to go in and we're going to select a design and we'll choose a design from category 13 because everybody has this design on their machine. And we'll select a little Christmas theme here, number 68, and choose set. All right. As I mentioned in the previous video, you can use your hands and you can move designs around the screen. You can select that circle and you can rotate. You need to have it in, in position. You can see I can rotate that design. I can choose undo a couple of times and get back to center because undo remembers what I've done in the past. 
I can use my mouse to move things around the screen by holding down my left mouse button. And I can also rotate in the same fashion with my mouse. I'll choose undo and undo to get it back to center. When I have a singular design on the screen, I can see that design right here. But if I wanted to duplicate this design, I could either go choose add, go back and get that design and add it, or I can duplicate it. Let's talk about that. What I'm going to do is select the cornflower blue color on that design and change it to red, and I'll choose OK. Now let's just move this design over here. Let's choose Add, and let's go in and pick up Category 13, and we'll select that, and move down to number 68. We'll select that, and we'll choose Set. You notice when I added that it didn't remember those color changes, but I now have two designs here. So I could select one or the other in order to change thread colors in it. And if I wanted to change the thread color in this one, I could do so. What I'm going to do is just delete it and choose OK. And this time I'm going to show you how you can do this another way. If you want to retain all those colors, let's say you've made several changes, go to edit and duplicate. You now have an identical copy of that with the same thread color changes. And you can also mirror image it if you wish. And you can take it and using the guidelines that I have from the settings page, let's go here and you see I have the grid on. I could choose to have a one inch grid, for instance, if I needed to have more lines, I can select that second design and I can line everything up so that it meets and I have a more or less a continuous pattern if I wanted to put this, say, on the border of a tablecloth or on a placemat. You can go in to up to 200% and this is where you're going to notice that I really don't have these lined up correctly. What I'm going to do is I'll go back and I'll just change this to the grid line because it's not quite so busy. We're going to go to move. With move, you have pre precise moves. So if we look at this design, it's at 1.46 inches by negative 1.83. And that's because this is an XY axis and this is the left side of the axis. This design is 1.40 by 1.79. What we're going to do, first of all, we're going to raise it up to 1.46 and then go to the right, so it's 1.83, and now this design is perfectly placed. You also have other keys here that you could use, like you can move designs down in the lower right-hand side, the lower left-hand side, you can move it to the lower upper right, hand, uh, excuse me, left-hand side and upper right-hand side you can also move it to the center, you can move it left, you can move it right. But if we move it back to the center and we just take it and drag it back up here again, we know in order to have this precisely match, we want to be at 1.46 by 1.83. We'll move it and now we're perfectly matched. So to, in today's video, we've covered several topics. We talked about memory on the embroidery side. We talked about how to duplicate a design. We talked about mirror imaging that design from side to side. And we also talked about how to remove some of the files that we have on our machine in our stored pocket on the machine. We also talked about if we go back and we just choose add and come back to the screen and choose return. We also talked about how you can see that we have two different designs here. And if we wanted to choose one and wanted to change the color of something that's in that design, let's say we want to go back to that blue theme, it's easy to do so. There are other ways to do it as well, and I'll show you that in future lessons. You'll notice you also have the same function here of seeing these designs in your hoop. So if you were going to use the nine and a half by nine and a half frame, you would see this would easily fit in a hoop that's that size. You can also watch the stitch count here 
to see how this is going to stitch out with the stitch player. And this is no different than in the previous video that I recorded for you. I hope these videos are instructional to you. If you like my videos, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel and consider joining us in Facebook in the Just Stitching with the Brother Luminaire group. There you have the benefit of many people to help you with your questions. I'm Terry Maffitt, and as always, thank you for your time today.